What's up guys, I'm McKenzie and welcome to actually the final episode of the Youth Academy Career Mode Season 1. We're currently second bottom of the table and not doing very well, but improvements have been made and the season for next season is looking promising. All we've got to do is make sure we can win as many games this season to um, go into next season still in the job. But let's get into our Youth Academy report. We see here a player's going out for six weeks, which is great. You know, so we're going to look at the monthly scouting update and we see that there is still no one really that is worth signing and anyone new? Oh, he's new. He's all right. I may take him. Anyone from the Spanish team? Okay, I'm going to have to delete everyone that's in here that I don't want anymore. That guy I may get eventually, but this guy I'm definitely getting now. Could be another striker. We need another striker to be honest. Oh, he looks good. He looks tasty. Now let's look at the team. All right, we got this guy who does not look like he's ever going to be good enough. He's actually better than the, the striker I currently have overall wise. Now I have two strikers. I'm just going to promote him straight away. Now I have two strikers that are pretty, pretty decent. Well, that's about it. We got this guy as well who looks really good. But he just, he just needs to turn 16 first. Okay, so we're skipping the first game of the episode. We're going to jump down. We want to pick up a win. We lost last time we played him. I played him personally. Because this is the last episode of the season, we're going to play four games instead of three. Aaron go a score, but then they equalize straight away. Oh, come on. I'll take a draw. A draw is not a bad result against Cheltenham. Actually, no. We want a win against Cheltenham. But I'll, I'll take a draw anyway. I, it's it's still one all. Garcia came on for his debut. Come on. Can we make a goal? We've turned minutes remaining. Dev score. For fuck's sake. Why can't can't we ever win games? Ha! Okay, into our first game of the episode. We're playing Forest Green Rovers. We are, they were only five points ahead of us. So if we win, we could go two points behind them, which would be massive because my goal is, I think, 20th position. That's where I want to finish in my own head. And we can do that mathematically. It's very possible. So let's get underway and let's get doing it, boys. It's your boy back in League Two against Forest Green Rovers. We've got to pick up a win. Oh my God, I hate that green kid. I hate it so much. It blends in with the grass. Oh yes, Cano, he's made a good interception there. Cano just getting to the box, he's got no support. He scores through the keeper's leg. I have no idea how that went in, but it did. So we'll take it. Cano scores and it's 1-0. Somehow that found the back of the net. A lot of luck involved in this goal. Somehow that goes through the keeper's legs, into the post and into the back of the net. 1-0. Come on, Cano. Oh yes. One touch to set yourself and bang it! Okay, it's a corner. Oh, it's not a corner. Oh, oh, we could have had a shot. I thought it was out for a corner though. Far. Aaron, come on, Aaron, mate. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Aaron! Save by the keeper. That's the one thing I haven't trained him in. Shooting. No, no. Oh! Off the line! Yes! What a, what a great save. I think that was going in. I don't care if it wasn't. What a block. Everything about that was great defending. Just position now. What a tackle. What a brilliant tackle. Now play that to the wrong player. But now eventually goes to the right player. And then it goes through. And it's Brown. It's Bradley Brown. Bradley Brown. He's turning He's turning the defender in and out. Can he score? Yes! Turbo! Bradley Brown gets another goal. He's worse off than the other striker I've just signed. But... He seems to keep having great games, so I'm going to keep playing him. Go Bradley Brown, look at that turn. Keeps spinning in and out, and then buries it eventually into the back of the net. Thank you very much for me. No, good save by the keeper. Good save, keep up, keep it out, keep it out, keep it out, keep it out. Very well done. Our keeper's having such a good game at the moment. And then long ball through. Oh, what a ball. Control it, chest control. Take it, Garcia. Now play it through. Yes, what a ball through. Bailey, come on. Jordan Bailey to finish it. Okay, that's awful. That's actually awful. Oh, okay. We'll have it back. Yes, we will. Oh, fucking hell. Keep it out. Keep the clean sheet. Good tackle, son. What a tackle. Oh, they're throwing the keeper forward. So if I do get the ball, I will probably score. But it's a goal kick. And that's it. 2-0. Thank you very much. Three points in the bag. Not an easy game. They had a lot of chances. We'll see the stats right here. They had a lot of chances. Look at that. Okay, three shots on target, but 11 shots all up. And our keeper had a bloody brilliant game. Okay, it's our strongest team going up against Mansfield, and they've already scored a penalty. It's 1-0 to Mansfield after 20 minutes. I'd, I'd take a draw, honestly, against Mansfield. They're a decent team. So I really want to get a goal, please. Score a goal. You're not 
scoring. What is wrong with you? It's still 1-0 down with 70 minutes. And yes, Aaron Gold scores another penalty. He's the penalty maestro. It's got three minutes left to save it. Yes, one all. We'll take it. We'll take one all, mate. But yeah, game against Chesterfield now. We are away from home. And the first green has scored. That's not good because we want to get ahead of them. We need a score against... Oh, no, Rhea Reyes has got injured. That is not good because we need him. He's our best midfielder and then Dennis scores for them. Awesome. So now we're missing our best midfielder and they're 1-0 up. We are now back left to save this game. Another penalty be good. Now our best setter back gets injured. Are you serious? Oh, two injuries in the one game. Two birds with one stone as someone... Who's a great rapper would say. But now we're bottom of the table again. Okay, we're playing at home against Wicked Wanderers, and they've already scored. It seems like we're destined to finish bottom of the table because now our team's actually better. They're now doing worse when I simulate, which doesn't make any sense. But half time, and we're still 1 0 down. Gutierrez comes on, so does Brown. Ekin Fenwa comes on. Bloody hell, the beast came on. And uh, 70 minutes gone. Can we get a goal, please? Aaron goes off our best player. 15 minutes left. Yes, shoes! There we go. Equalizer made. Boom, boom. Thank you. Oh, that was, that was terrible. Okay, we take a draw. We'll take a point. That means we are not falling behind. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. Why? Why? My position is now under scrutiny with the board. Far out. We might lose our job at the end of the first season. Please don't. Our youth scouts will come back for the very last time. I am going to sign these players. Okay, so that's it. We're going to send out new new things. New whatever you call them. I forget. We also just signed some more players. Let's see what their overalls are. This guy, 52 overall, but he's got decent potential. Really decent potential. We'll wait a few, a little while to get him. He looks good, and he's got all-round decent stats there as well. So uh, he can pass the ball, which is decent. So maybe he'll be a good signing. And another left-back that we don't really need, who's just as good as our other left-back. So unless he can play right-back, we don't really need him. And then there's this guy. This guy looks so good for the future. But we're actually going to get some more staff in, so we're going to lose this guy. And we're going to see if we can have any better scouts than that. Oh, yes, two, actually. Two better scouts. We're going to take the Scottish one, obviously, because he's better. And we'll see. No, we'll just keep that. We'll just keep it like that. Okay, we're in to Accrington Stanley. I think we need to win this game or we might be getting sacked in the morning. So um, we win this and we move off the bottom of the table, basically. We got a lot of plays really tied. That's the best team I can feel. It's so frustrating. Let's go. Ugh. The stamina is the most annoying. Stamina, speed, and strength. Speed and strength, you can't actually improve. And the only way you get stamina up is by doing dribbling. And the stamina doesn't go up very fast in those. The, the dribbling does. So it, it's very frustrating to try and get those three stats up. Let's go. Let's get on the way. League two action. We're playing Accrington Stanley. We beat them, and we're off the bottom of the table. Come on, you can't sack us now. We're actually getting better. You can see we are improving. You can't sack us. Okay, never mind. We're not improving at all. Garcia, our new striker, who is very tired already because he was tired before the game started. It's Ruiz. It's that guy. Play there. Play back to Ruiz. Bury it. Oh, you can bury it. Oh, my God. What was that? Oh, come on. Yes. It's Hughes. Just get a short way, son. Oh, save. Come on, bury it. Oh, my God. I want to die. I need to score. And when they have an open goal, they decide the side ending's better. Delivery to the far post. Off the crossbar, please get it out. Thank yes, fuck well. for that. We have seven minutes and a win is needed. I need. Oh my god, what was that, you spastic? Oh, great, yeah. No, this is the moment where we lose this. Because look, defenders are marked. I just don't understand why there's no marking. Come on, go forward. Attack, 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 attack! Oh my god! Yeah, great movement forward, dickhead! He's got literally no stamina left. He's got no stamina left. Move for me, move for me, please. Pass it off. There we go. Now through, through. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Stop the ball, stop the ball. Cut in. Yes, come on. Bury it. No, straight into the defender's leg, you retard. Like if you think of mentally disturbed, you are fucking retarded. Oh, great. Nil-nil with fucking Accrington. The best team in the league. They had one shot all game. That was a terrible game to play. I want to die. I want to die very very quickly this is why international management is so screwed in this game i'm bottom of the table right in my first season and i'm offered the england job to be fair that's actually the most realistic thing that has ever happened in a career mode and this is our team going into this game this crucial game against coventry city a win is a must okay we have one game we're gonna play after this unless we get the sack so hopefully we don't get the sack 
Let's go, please, get a win. We need this. Let's We're at home. This is our chance. Whoa, that grey is really, for some reason, really conflicting with my blue. I don't know, it's the lighting. It's making their grey look like my blue. How does grey look like blue? Oh, good ball. Good ball. Aaron goes through. He's going to get a goal, isn't he? Oh, he is! 1-0! They perfect start! Aaron Goa gets the goal! He's the captain, he's the best player in the team, he's also our top scorer, and he just got another one against Coventry. What a start to the game. Good ball through here, and the touch is sublime to put him in and finish it. It's 1-0 early on against Coventry. Oh, oh, I stuffed that up. No, I haven't. Yes, Aaron Goa! Oh, I want to die, I want to die, I want to die. How can you miss that, you bellen? Brown! Oh, through a sea of bodies into our own players' legs. Come on, don't blow time. Fuck you, I had a go, mate. I cannot tell who was on my team and who was not on my team! Oh my god! First shot! I can't tell who was in my team. I kept trying to pass and going, oh wait, that's their player. Why do they, why does the grey match with my blue? I can't tell. I can now, it's very obvious. But as soon as we get to this angle, I can't tell! Oh, and they're through, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Ready for the goal, three, two, one, and goal! Oh my god, I can't believe they missed! Even though I was calling my goalkeeper out, he didn't come out and try and stop that, the idiot. Oh great, they're one-on-one. -on -one. Oh my god, yeah, good defending. Let go of- Dude! Why- Oh, okay, we got the ball. And then we lost the ball, because they just went, oh, let me stick out my leg and win this ball back. Stop running next to the guy I'm controlling! Oh, yay! Clap, clap for the spastic! Yay, we drew one all with Coventry. Great, which which basically means um, we're losing our job. In the morning, we're getting sacked. In the morning, especially when Accrington, what did Accrington do? Oh, they lost, that's all right. We go ahead of them. But what what about the green team? Uh, the green, I, I didn't even get to see. Yeah, they won, awesome. We have four games left and we have an absolute atrocious rating. I don't understand. I cannot get a result going for me at the moment. Okay, so we're playing Colchester. The odds of us getting a result here are so slim. But if we can get a result, we may keep our job. So, up to you boys. Come on, let's get a result. A draw does not count as a result. A win is needed. Yes, shoes! There's my boy! Oh, Guthrie, why don't you just die? Griffiths comes on. Right! That's not the right thing to do. That's the wrong thing to do. Come on, we've got 20 minutes left to stay in my job. Oh, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose this game. Wait, there's no way. Yep, cool. We lost another one. Awesome. Loving it, boys. Loving it. Ready for the sack. Getting sacked in the morning. We're getting sacked in the morning. Yeovil now at home. A win would be incredible. Please, yes, Ruiz. That's my boy. Get me the goal. It's 1-0. Half an hour gone. We have uh, uh, now left to play. Can we stay at 1-0? Oh, no, it's 1-0. Instantly. 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 Can we stay at 1-0? No, instant goal. Fuck you, McKenzie. The game says once again. We've got 25 minutes here. Bailey comes on for Ruiz. We've got 20 minutes. We've got 15 minutes. Aaron Goa! Yes, my son! That's my boy. The real boy. The real MVP. Pulling out the win for us. Aaron Goa gets another goal. And it's 2-1. We might jump up. No, we don't. Forest Green Rovers also won. How does that happen? How do we win? And then they win also. Ugh. Okay, they're going to tell me again that my position is under scrutiny. We, we cannot finish any higher than 22nd now. All right? 22nd is where we need to finish. We can only pick up 60 points. Uh, six points. And Forest Green Rovers are two ahead of us. I'm going to play this next game with Brad Brent Group Bradley. Grimsby, and this is the last game I'm going to play this season. Hopefully it's enough to keep us in the job. Hopefully I can get us the win. All right, big game, Grimsby Town. No talking, let's just get into the game. Let's just win this game. Grimsby Town, they were my old rivals in the last FIFA when I did this. And the semi-rivals again this year. It's Forest from Green Rovers and Accrington, really. But Grimsby are still a team that aren't that good in this game. And uh, so is my team. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Jesus Christ! The only things I'm really missing now, in terms of standard to the league, is I just need, for a start, some of my players to keep growing, but I just need a left back, or, no, actually I need a right back. God damn it! And I need my strikers to grow, and then I probably need a keeper with actual promise, and then, and then we're good to go. We're gonna play it short here. It's Kano. He's gonna finesse it. He's gonna put it in the top corner! Off the crossbar! It's a corner. Oh my god. 
Keno almost scored goal of the season for us then. Come on. Yes. Come on, Ruiz. That's it. Just pull away. Get, get, get the foul. Thank you for the free kick. Oh, but it's through. It's through. Oh, that touch is terrible, but the goal! Yes! I don't care if he's going to give us a known goal. That is my goal. Look at that Kano play through. What more luck there is. And that was a terrible touch. The goalkeeper should have come out. But they've, deflected him. they've given it to us. Ruiz gets a goal. But that, I'm telling you right now, the keeper should have dove on my feet. And that should not have been a goal. We got very lucky. But it's 1-0 in a massively important game for us. Oh, please, God, no. Oh, what a save! I want to die. I do want to die. Oh, my God! Oh, my player just passed it straight to the player. That freaked me the hell out. He has gone to the box. Played across the ground. It's Bobby Brown! Yeah! 2-0! That could be the game over! Thank you, Brown. That's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, but guess what? Forest Green are also winning 1-0. Of course they are. Aaron, mate, calm down. Calm down, Aaron. Calm down, Aaron. Aaron, calm down. You you've calmed down, mate. Kano, don't make it three. Oh, save. What a save by the keeper. Bradley Brown, oh, what a ball. It's Aaron Goer into the box. He's got to finish it. He does. It's 3-0. It's the game. All over. Aaron Goer makes another goal. And it's 3 0. Thank you very much. Oh, he's fine. Cano. Finish it, Cano. Oh, blocked out for a corner. Oh, oh my God. Jesus Christ. We almost scored an absolute worldie. A goal the computer would score. Far out. Hey, 3 0 is the result. There we go. We've picked up three points when, when it was needed. We've done all we can. We've got three goals. Hopefully now we don't get sacked. Hopefully we keep our job till next season. Because I know if we keep it till next season, we will stay up and we'll do very well. Forest Green Rivers won though. It's unbelievable. All right. Last game of the season. And hopefully not the last game in the career mode. We're playing Luton Town. And we've got one nil down. They, I think they're top of the table. I think they've won the league. Like that's how good this team are. We're, we're the polar opposite. They're my huge. Get to go! This could be a uh, foresight into the future. We're going to win here. It's like a good omen into the next season. Even a draw is good. Okay, and never mind. They score again. Um, And then they score <coughs> again. It's 3-1, which means we're definitely losing this game. Last game of the season, we lose. Hmm. Please don't lose my job. I finished 23rd. Please do not make me lose my job now. I do not want to lose my job. I've given everything I could to keep my job. Please do not make me lose it now. It looks like we may have kept our job because they haven't said anything and we're now into the last weeks of the season. So your boys kept his job, boys. All right, guys. So we've finished the season. As you can see, we finished 23rd, which is quite appalling. Luton won the league with 101 points. Colchester came second with 91. But if we look all, down, all the way down to the bottom, we came uh, second last, which is pretty bad. We had the worst defense. We didn't actually have the worst attack. Our attack was actually decent for down the bottom. Hopefully next season, we're sitting where Luton is sitting. But let's look at who won the FA Cup. I think I have no idea who it is. It is Chelsea, 3-0 against Stoke. Stoke be better. Look at that left side. There's not one good team. That Not one good team. There's no one good in that left side. The right side has all the good teams. Let's get into, I think, the League Cup now. Uh... And Arsenal won that against United. That's all right. Uh, this is really irrelevant. Mansfield beat them. And League 2 playoff Mansfield also won that. So the double for Mansfield. And Bayern beat United in the final. Who beat Barca in the semi-final. Jeez. The Europa League was won by Atletico. Let's see how Leeds United, who were transferred in from, instead of me, let's see how Leeds did in the Europa League. They, I think, probably came last in their group. Let's see. Let's have a look. God, where are they? Third. They, they came third against Galatasaray and Lokomotiv Moscow. That's all right. Now let's look at how the Premier League went and all the other stuff. So the Arsenal won the league. Incredible. United second, Spurs third, City fourth, Chelsea fifth, Liverpool sixth. Who got relegated? Huddersfield, Bournemouth and Leeds. I put Leeds in there and they've been relegated as well as Bournemouth and Huddersfield. Let's go to the championship. Villa are back in the big time. So in Norwich. And the other one was fought out between Wolves, Fulham, Derby and Wednesday. That's all right. Let's see who got relegated from there. Oxford bottom of the table. They're the other team I put into the championship. Then we got Millwall and Preston going down. Let's go to League One. Blackburn and Wigan! Back in the big time. And then Portsmouth might have got back to the championship. 
Crazy, let's see who got relegated. Gillingham, Fleetwood, Shrewsbury, and Wimbledon. Okay, I don't, who were the team I put in there? I, don't, I can't even remember who I put into League One from League Two, but they may have, may have been Gillingham. Oh no, no, it was Notts County who came sixth. So yeah, I made the right decision there. But yeah, we, we finished 23rd, so we'll see how we go next season. But let's have a look at our team. Not using this, because that is an awful way to look at it. Let's look at our squad, our squad hub. We're going to look at, first, we're going to look at the stats. Second, we're going to look at the, the growth. So, the one with the most appearances was, of course, Marquez, followed closely by Aaron, who was our favorite player. Strangely, Aaron got more clean sheets than... Marquez, which makes zero sense, but uh, Marquez got more appearances than that. And we're looking down. Grant, of course, not playing for us. He was playing for Crew. Scrolling down, and we see <laughs> all these players got games. The person who got the least amount of games for us, but was actually one of our players, was this guy here, Costa. Awful player. But in terms of players that actually played for us, all of these players played outfield appearances for us. They didn't play one in the actual goals. They all played outfield. Garcia is the one with the least out of all the players that was actually a player for us. So that's pretty strange, actually. But now we're going to look at the most goals. And I think you guys already know as well as I do who the most goals was. Of course, it was Aaron. He scored 13 in the league. He was one of the league's top scorers, actually. Then there was Hughes and Silva. Assist again. I think Aaron's at the top. Yep. Okay, now we're going to look at the attribute re-wise. Let's see how we finished with top of the overalls. Of course, you know it's your boy Aaron. Um, not these two. Aaron are there. Who had a growth of eight. Incredible. Look how much he's grown. He's grown in speed. He's grown in not much stamina. Oh, actually a bit of stamina. But he's grown pretty much everywhere, which is really cool. If you look at his thing, he's actually pretty decent. Then we got, uh, we got Marquez, who grew a lot. Grew by seven. Ruiz up by three. Uh, Rodriguez, who has actually grown a lot. And he's got a lot of pace. He's got decent stamina. And he's got a lot of good um, defending stuff. His, his strength. I can't even see strength. Where does it say strength? Strength isn't there. That's really weird. Where is strength? So it turns out strength isn't shown here. That's really weird. Here's our other center back. He does pretty good as well. He's pretty fast. He grew by 17. Jesus. We're going to look at who grew the most throughout the season. I think it is going to be 17 for the center back. Yeah, it is. 17. Jesus Christ. He's actually really good now. Interceptions up by 25. Marking up by 36 throughout the season. Rodriguez, he was relatively around about the same. And then uh, even Aaron, I decided to stop putting up halfway through the season because I was like, eh, who cares? He'll grow on his own. He's got high potential. He's our captain. And yeah, you know, the deal. And Marquez, we decided we're not going to grow anymore because he, he doesn't have any more potential than what he's already got. So we're not really going to focus on him. But we do have another keeper or a few keepers in the in the academy they're going to be our first choice keeper let's look at the value who's the most valued i think we all know who's going to be the most valued yeah it's aaron of course and he's on the highest wage because i gave him a new thing so that is pretty much going to wrap up this season i think the season is over i hope you have enjoyed we'll look one last time at our squad and i'll show you the academy as well so there's our squad looking pretty good you are mate uh it's actually now a decent league two team we just need a right back because acosta really will be playing there so we just need a right back and then we're looking really good uh decent bench now so i'm really looking forward to the second season we're simulating we might actually win some games and i have a feeling we're gonna win the league next season so you guys are gonna have to come back but let's have a quick look at the academy let's look at who is in the academy first we'll look at the potential whoa look at that striker he's looking pretty good do you know why he's looking pretty good because he is pretty good oh i dropped my controller this guy looks like he might have potential but with so many players i've seen them have that potential and then drop down a two few months later this guy it looks the real deal though and do you know what makes me think he's the real deal that look at that strength and stamina 78 strength 78 st uh, 75 stamina 75 sprint speed he's fast he's strong he's exactly what i need as a striker and his finishing is terrible and now you may be thinking oh why is that a good thing because then he'll grow really quickly because i can train him on shooting and his shooting will grow really quickly so his overall will rock it really quickly and he'll be mid 60s around about when the season starts which is great but he's got minimum potential of 75 to 70 to 94 amazing he's going to get signed as soon as we get into the next season this guy also looks potential this guy looks incredible 81 minimum potential he's minimally a world-class player i'm um, not world-class but a premier league player he's currently 62 and he's decently paced he just needs more stamina and then we'll be happy with him and we got henry king he will probably be our goalkeeper 
for the rest of the career mode. Once we get him in, put up his overall a lot, he'll stay our keeper. Um, this guy looks really good too. Uh, another backup left back who hopefully can play right back. I don't know. I just... I just want to write back and I'm not finding any. But the rest of the thing is pretty good. But that's going to end it here. This is taking like two and a half hours to record, my ad. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and put your advice on video chestnuts down below. If you want more Youth Academy career mode, comment down below. If you want to see more in the future, then comment down below. But I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.